Hi, this is Andrea. So today I'm going to share with you what is burnout. And you know, there was a point in my life where I was totally burnt out, I was totally spent. And I'm going to share more with you about that and also let you know what you can do if you find yourself in a situation of feeling burnt out. So burnout actually has three main categories of burnout, three phases that you one may experience when they are feeling burnout. The first level of burnout is when they are feeling stressed. Okay, so in terms of stress that will be harming their health, like you don't really sleep well, you are starting to feel headaches, and you know you are having maybe insomnia, and yeah, so this is where you are starting to get the stress, and your physical body is feeling the stress. So this is the first level of burnout and you know you can actually take some time off and recover quickly if you are in the first level of burnout, right? And you know you need to be thinking about how to approach your day-to-day -day life and the overall picture in your life. So level one is pretty pretty simple, it's pretty easy if you were to put your focus and manage it well in starting from inside okay so that's level one of burnout the second level of burnout is where you know you start to feel you need to be resting a little bit more okay so you are constantly feeling tired you are you know having a lot of coping mechanisms in the day with probably with alcohol with cigarettes or using drugs food or any other things to cope with your energy levels, right? To give yourself an energy boost or to keep yourself awake and you're constantly, constantly feeling tired. So this is the second level of burnout. You need to be um, recovering, taking more time to recover. You know, you don't really show up as uh, with high energy. So this is where you are looking at the second level of burnout and you know, later on I'll tell you how you can actually be uh, approaching this second level of burnout. So the third level of burnout is where you are totally spent, you know, you actually get so tired and it gets to you emotionally where you feel depressed, you feel that there is no hope, you are not keeping up with your relationships well and you know you start to see that you are not having any positive, not having positive thoughts okay you are not communicating well with people around you okay you're not receiving any help and you're pushing people away you know you start to be lashing out at people you start to feel like uh, there is no hope no way out and yeah there was a point in my life where I actually felt this way you know it's not long ago really it's uh, back then in June 2018 that was this is how I felt and only now that I, I know that I was totally burnt out, you know, in the in the in the stage three of burnout. So what happened to me back then is when I go to work, I just go to work in a very robotic manner, you know, if you know what I mean. So I don't look forward to the work I do. I go there. I just spend my hours there, and then the day will just pass by. I wouldn't be producing any quality work. I would just be doing what is required for me to to spend the day. You know, I have a stable income. Nothing is motivating me, and I know that I feel trapped. Right? I don't even feel like going to work. The traveling time feels very long. The whole day feels very long, and I just look forward to my lunch hours. I look forward to dinner time where I meet my friends, where I go for my gym sessions, you know, I just look forward to anything outside of work rather than work. So over time, I actually didn't realize that I am feeling this way. I didn't face the problem. I let this problem grow. And over time, I actually stayed in the work for about six years, right? And that was the point where I start to feel robotic and I, that is the level which I am 
operating at. So at a point in time, I wasn't producing any results in the company. The company was giving me a lot of stress. So it became something that is very unenjoyable for me. I was not performing well in the company and doing making a lot of mistakes. And the worst thing is my customers. So I was working in sales back then. The worst thing is my customers are taking all the consequences of what I was doing, right? Me not fixing the work well and not giving my quality work. And that is because I don't have the right approach, I don't have the right attitude, I don't have the right uh, mentality in coping my work every day because every day I feel so tired, I feel so exhausted, I don't even feel like going to work. So back then I really didn't know what to do until one day it got so bad that my partner of five years left me and that was my wake-up call, okay? So I had a wake-up call only when someone dear to me left me and if you know and this is not a good way to be looking at to be managing the problems that I was facing I was left alone and I feel that I couldn't talk to anyone about it because deep down inside me I know that something is wrong right I know that something in me is totally is very wrong because I couldn't perform well at work. I couldn't maintain, I couldn't have a good relationship with someone I love. I couldn't have connection with anybody in the family, right? So if I was not seeing any results or success or any happiness or joy in my work, in my personal relationships with my loved ones, with my family, with my friends, and I was feeling confused, okay? So if that's the case, then what, what is going on, right? The worst thing is I didn't have anybody to talk about it, right? I didn't know how to approach it. I don't know who to look for because it's gotten so bad that I've pushed everyone away that nobody is able to help me even though they wanted to. Right, it's because of my attitude towards everybody. So this is where burnout got so bad. My burnout got so bad, okay? I was in a stage where nobody could help me. And only because that... It's only because I wasn't able to stand myself. Like even me, myself, I couldn't stand the reasons and or the, even the excuses I was giving to myself on why things don't go in my way you know I kept blaming I kept looking at the circumstances I kept looking at the results but the thing is at any point in time I could have decided to change right so you know if you are looking at what is going on with your life right now yeah you may be facing something the same where you know you don't want to be working in a work that you is something that just provides you financially but doesn't fulfill you emotionally doesn't fulfill you mentally doesn't challenge you to improve yourself then you know you it's time to look at what truly you know drives you it gives you that passion because over time it actually will cost you not only in your physical stress in your health it actually costs you emotionally and mentally and this is where that, that was what happened to me when I didn't take into account that working in a place I don't like to work and not standing up for myself, <clears throat> not standing up for what I truly believe in, not standing up for what my thoughts and my true feelings are, is something that led me to burn out. Okay, so if you are seeing that you are in a situation at this point in time, where you, know, you don't love the work that you do, your relationships are not as fulfilling as you want it to be, you, know, you don't connect with people well, you don't really express well, you, know, you just get together because there's fun, there's uh, happiness and you just spend time together, you know, probably having a lot of parties, having a lot of gatherings and that was what I was in last time, right? I was 
surrounded by so many people, so many friends. I've got so many parties to attend to, birthday parties, weddings, and yeah, I've got a lot of friends around me, but I just couldn't express myself truthfully because I don't even know what I was feeling. Okay, so there was a void and I wasn't facing the problem because consciously I didn't know how to, I just let it be and over time it got really bad where emotionally I distanced myself away and it's not because of anybody's fault, it's because of me not knowing what to do, okay? And the last thing that I didn't have was, I didn't do for myself was to reach out to someone and truthfully talk about this. So if any point in time, you know, you see that you want to be solving a certain problem in your life right now, be it work, in, in your work, in your relationship, or you know, something that you are feeling uh, within you, your emotions, or something that is bugging you, is having conflict within you in terms of your thinking, your beliefs, right? And this is the time you actually have to reach out to talk to someone about it because if you let the problem grow, you may walk down the path of burnout, right? This, so this is my experience and I want to share this with you because it is the most painful time in my life where I am feeling that I had no hope, okay? And that wasn't the case, okay? If I, had, if I only knew how to reach out earlier, if I only knew how to face my problems and not let it grow and manifest into other areas, then I would have, wouldn't have gotten to that point. But of course, at this point in time, looking back, I'm very grateful, right? So what changed for me is I started to take responsibility to learn, to start to go deep inside me and to want to make that change for myself. So I started to think from inside out and not looking for circumstances and giving myself all the excuses that I can give to myself, right? So, yeah, so that, that was what, what changed for me. I took out the responsibility. I reached out to learn something and self-develop myself. And that was where I got to this point, okay? So this is, that was the beginning of my self-development journey. And, you know, I'm going to be continuing making videos on what happened next, right? That was the first time I stepped into developing myself and knowing that if I ever want to be earning a million dollars, I have to be a million dollars inside, okay? So that is the point where consciously and logically, I know that I need to be learning. And that was the first step for me. So yeah, and it's, it's a great start and to learn about inside out thinking. So in, in the second video, next video, I'm going to share with you on, uh, you know, now that if you have taken that first step forward, in learning consciously and doing self-development what is next for you so that you can progress right so for people who are experiencing any symptoms or any any situation in your life that you think that you are burning out okay I reach out to me okay comment below you can you can reach out to me via telegram as well it's uh, Andrea X Lam A-N-D-R-E-A X-L-U-M right Andrea X Lam and you can look for me the soul doctor on telegram just pm me let me know what you're thinking but if not stay tuned for the next video where i share with you more on my transformational journey so that's it from me have a great day